Active Investor here bringing you another independent analysis. This time we're taking a look at ticker symbol DUST, that's dust. The chart we're looking at today is a two hour chart. Each candlestick on this chart representing two hours of trading. And we go back originally to right when this thing fell off from about $16.30 all the way to about $11. Now it's a little bit further to the left hand side of this chart and unfortunately it just barely got cut off. But you can see the averages all kind of just fell down over here and literally right to the other, you know, right where this chart got cut off, that's where we see some big red candles and it fell down to this range here. So that's really all you're missing. Um, just keep in mind this, that dust fell off pretty hard right, right here. So we had a few channels to look at, some resistance and support levels. And these channels are all so close together, I couldn't put the, I couldn't put the text in between them like I normally do. It would just look really difficult and it would be really difficult to see in other words. So I have that right up here, resistance levels and then support on the bottom. So take a look at that. All right, give you guys a few seconds to kind of take that in. All right, so crazy day with the Brexit. I just finished analyzing GDX and now we're taking a look at dust. On my GDX analysis, I was more bullish than bearish on it. So obviously it's gonna mean that I'm gonna be more bearish on dust than I am bullish on dust since dust shorts the GDX gold and it all relates together. So let's take a look down here at these pivot points. You can see we had this major selling off on dust, fell down to that 766 support and then it fell down to 730 and then it bounced big time coming all the way back up to 1315. The wicks on these candles pushing about halfway up to the next pivot point at 10 right here 10 but then we got denied and fell back down so we're currently in the channel right here between right between uh, what would that be let's see that'd be eight dollars and 58 cents and eight dollars and 83 cents so 858 for support 883 for resistance and we're currently stuck in this channel. So that means that, you know, a few things could happen here. A few things could happen here. We're gonna break the channel either to the upside or we're gonna break it to the downside. Now, based on my GDX analysis and this chart, I would be leaning more towards dust breaking to the downside. But either way, there is a big move to be made. The next pivot point's at 10. If it breaks to the upside, if it breaks to the downside, the next pivot point is all the way down here at 776. So there's a big move either way. So what you could do, and what I'm gonna do actually, is set an alert on the resistance and on the support. And if GDX breaks the upside, I'm sorry, if dust breaks the upside, you can long dust and probably swing it to about $10. However, the fact that our moving averages, we have the 50, the 20, and the 13 period, the fact that they're all above our candles means that we could have some intraday or soft resistance on the way up. Now, if we break it to the downside, it'll probably be a real, real fast fall or a real clean fall at least, all the way down to about 776 from 850. Well, where are we trading right now? We're trading at 875 right now. So. If dust breaks to the to the downside here, then you could long nugget and probably get a nice, nice ride to some steady profits. So either way it breaks, there is a pretty big gap to fill. The only thing is that if it breaks to the upside, there is some resistance based on these averages. And based on the GDX, it is looking like it's gonna break more to the downside. So nugget is looking more bullish than dust is in my opinion. But as we saw here, massive selling off and then a massive bounce back, not quite as large as that selling off, but a really strong bounce back by the bulls. So this market is absolutely crazy. It is pretty unpredictable. In technical analysis, you'll have to really read between the lines and kind of take it with a grain of salt, especially something you know like gold and GDX on a market like this, really, it can be very volatile. So take it with a grain of salt. That's my opinion on this. And uh, that's what I'll be doing, setting alert at resistance and at support and taking a look at what happens when that channel breaks to either the upside or the downside. That's my recommendation, that's my opinion. That's really all I have to say about GDX for now. I'm sorry, about dust for now. So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave some feedback below. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next analysis. Have a good one.